Hi, Nicola Askin here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is very short and succinct. It's, what is a data domain? Very short and to the point. Now, when I got the message asking me to cover this question in one of my videos, it was from a former colleague that I worked with at my first consultancy. And I was really surprised to get the message because I thought, well, surely he should know what they are. But this made me reflect and I thought, you know, this is yet another example of as data professionals, we are very bad at defining things. And as data governance professionals, that's even worse because we spend our time helping others and asking others to write definitions for their data. And yet we don't define the terms we use well enough. So I decided that this was actually an excellent question and was definitely one that I should answer. So the first thing I did was look at one of my most commonly used reference book, the Dharma Dictionary of Data Management. And I opened the page and thought, well, that's strange, because it says that a data domain is a set of allowable values for a data attribute. And I thought, well, that's not how I use the term. And I think that is the perfect example of what happens as data professionals. We start using a term and people we work with start using it. It proliferates, but we're not necessarily using it for its original intention. So as you just heard, a data domain is perhaps a, 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 a terminology used more, more usually in data modeling and in, in databases. But we use it a lot in the data governance world. So we clearly don't mean that. That's very techie and data geeky. And we're trying to talk to business users. We don't want to be talking about data domains in, in allowable sets of values. That's not what we mean. So what do we mean? Well, when I use the term, I mean a logical grouping of data, something where we can tell where it starts and ends. So from my point of view, I'm normally trying to find um, identify data domains so that I can identify data owners. So for example, you might call customer data a data domain, finance data, HR data, product data, supplier data. These are all ideas of, of logical groupings of data that all relate together. Now it's then the work of data governance to work out the detail of what is actually included in those domains. But that is what I mean and, and many professionals that I work with and know when we say data domain. So just be very clear what you mean when you use the term. Sometimes I don't use the word data domain. I talk in terms of data set, which is any logical grouping of data. So I think you can use the words data set and data domain interchangeably. Just make sure that you actually understand what you mean when you use the term and explain to the business users that you're talking to what it means to avoid all confusion. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you have, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by sharing it on your choice of social media. I really appreciate your help in getting the message out. And don't forget, if you've got a question that you'd like me to cover on one of these future videos, just email me at questions at nicolaaskham.com.